every journey knows its seasons. There's an ebb and flow to motherhood, friendship, ministry, mission, the creative process, and even our walk with the Lord. Solomon was right in Ecclesiastes 3, for everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven. Seasons in which we struggle, strive, doubt, persevere, thrive, restore, and revive again and again. What if your seasons that seem unfruitful, those seasons of heart longings, heart aches, heart wanderings, are really purposefully placed to prepare your heart to be deeply rooted in Christ? What if that unwanted winter season of waiting, when nothing is in bloom, causes you to rest in who God is, in his character and his ways? What if the uncertain but hopeful season of spring leads you to rehearse the truths of who you are in Christ? What if being anchored to who he is and who we are in him finally frees you up to respond in faith? in the fruitfulness that comes with summer? And what if the weary and worn path in the fall, when the harvest has come and gone, directs your heart back to remembering how he faithfully provides for you over and over again? We were made to be tethered to God's truth and not our own. We were made to look up to the sky and wonder at his majesty to bow low to the ground and find his care in the smallest creature, to climb the heights and know his leading and sustaining, to drink from the water of his word and thirst no more. We were made to know his heart through the seasons of our own. I don't know if you are tilling, sowing, watering, weeding, harvesting, or waiting in your current season, but God's word meets you where you are right now. He reveals himself through its pages, declares himself through the wonder of his creation, and gives himself through the transformation of our hearts. We may be walking different seasons, you and I, but together we can recognize how the grace of God is laced and woven in and through the pages he's writing in each of us. Will you join me in together finding our sure footing in the unchanging truths of the gospel, even when everything else around us rarely stays the same? To rest, rehearse, respond, and remember All this begins as we direct our gaze to Christ, the giver of all sufficient grace for each and every season of our lives. Friend, don't discount the season you're in. Don't overlook the ways he's moving in the minutia of today as he builds you up for tomorrow. You don't have to be blooming to be growing. He has made everything beautiful in its time, and he's beginning in your heart season and mine.